I would say a curious mind is a happy mind. I think that science is delivering all of that uh, important food for curiosity, and, uh, and that is a stimulation for the intellect. My name is uh, Sebastian Copeland. I am uh, a photographer and a polar explorer, and we are in um, northern Greenland. I've come to these regions uh, for uh, more than 30 years. Sometimes it's research, other times it's adventure, and uh, it's photography as well. The Arctic uh, is uh, an ecosystem of its own as beautiful as it is cold. Uh, temperatures here can sometimes drop to minus 60 degrees Celsius. Uh, the people here defy the cold and, and adversity, demonstrating uh, a resilience and adaptability in this harsh environment. The kids here have probably more than anywhere in the world a great sense of their environment. And uh, that's um, precisely why it's crucial to provide these children with the tools they need to continue uh, exploring and understanding their environment. Their future uh, and the future of this fragile ecosystem uh, depends on it. Delivering these microscopes in these faraway latitude, bearing in mind that this school could well be the farthest public school northernmost in the world, is really a way to open up a field of opportunity for the most distant, often disenfranchised communities. We did have new microscopes uh, from SICE, so we were very glad that the students could also go down to the beach and collect some samples, and uh, some of them took some water, uh, ocean samples. <laughs> What I like about science is exploring nature. What I love about Dan, who runs this school, is that he's a science teacher himself, chemistry teacher, but he's also the principal, and he's also a hunter, and he has his dog teams, and he's a fisherman as well. So he's really embedded in the culture, while as well having this scientific background. I do love science, and also I'm trying to combine teaching and the nature, uh, because if you get it on your hands, you do learn more and you also remember it more if you have collect and do the samples. So the kids here, particularly as they grow up, will be first in line in experiencing transformations. So there's an argument to be made that to understand the science uh, gets you closer, uh, both intellectually and emotionally, to transformations that are taking place and perhaps ways to um, you know, change their behavior. Who knows, we may be breeding the next scientist that comes from the northernmost public school in the world. Mm -hmm.